Yesterday, as I was driving over to the airport, I got a message from Alex over at Mallorca Under the Sun about a surprise Boe publication, but we didn't understand its exact meaning. Not even three days before, Spain had announced its plan to extend all COVID entry requirements until November 15th. But with some tricky wording, I published this video. The latest publication says changes to letter K of Article 1, which reads, people who have a vaccination certificate or a recovery certificate or a negative diagnostic test that the health ministry recognizes for that purpose. Honestly, that didn't sound any different from what we had in the last updates for the same point. So I did a little bit more research and this is what I found. The last one said, people who have a vaccination certificate, a recovery certificate, or a negative diagnostic test that the health ministry recognizes for that purpose, prior confirmation by the health authorities. The wording and changes to such a small amount of text only about the health checks brought up a lot of questions. What does that even mean? Are there more changes ahead? Are they gonna stop actually doing checks? And if so, is it even required to still enforce these health forms? Now the new September 19th publication in the BOE has made things even more confusing. That new publication has brought about two big changes in the entry requirements. The first is the elimination of sections eight and nine of the previous resolution. What that means is that the Spanish health form is no longer required to enter into Spain and that cruise ship passengers no longer have to adhere to those previous restrictions. The second is an adjustment to the rules that no longer require travel agencies or other travel professionals to ensure that passengers know about that health form or that they have it before their departure. So what happened? With the announcement that starting September 20th, the FCS or the SPTH form would no longer be required, there seemed to be a lot of confusion, with many people thinking that what was gonna eventually happen was they were gonna take away all entry requirements for everybody, meaning that you would no longer need to provide proof of vaccination, a negative test, or even that recovery certificate. As you already know, travelers from the EU do not have to provide any sort of health documents or any sort of documentation if traveling to Spain. And travelers from third party countries still need to provide that proof. And up until September 20th, had to fill out that FCS form. But that FCS form is no longer required. And if you go to spth.gob.es, you'll find that the website and the application are no longer operational. But the questions from my last video still lingered. What does that even mean? Are there more changes ahead? Are they gonna stop actually doing checks? Is it even required to still enforce these health forms? We now had our answer and quicker than we thought. That Spanish health form was no longer going to be necessary. But wasn't the whole point of the Spanish health form to give you a QR code to allow for third countries that didn't have that EU digital certificate or its equivalent to show that QR code to enter Spain. That's where the confusion came in. And last night with the lack of an update on all the websites, nobody had their full answers. Let's jump over to the SPTH website and check out what it says. As of Tuesday, September 20th, 2022, the Spain Travel Health Portal, both website and mobile applications will no longer be operational. It will no longer be necessary to complete the health form to travel to Spain, nor to show the SPTH QR code at the airport of arrival. So we can see that it backs up what the official government post was saying. Then it goes on to talk about the third country nationals and it doesn't clear up exactly what they need to get into Spain, but it does direct us over to the health ministry website. So let's go there. And when you get over to the health ministry website, you see the very same message talking about the lack of the need for the SPTH QR code and the presentation at the airports, but it didn't go directly into any details about the certificates that you would need. So you know that my favorite website throughout the entirety of this pandemic has been Travel Safe because you can click directly on the country that you're coming from and find out exactly what it is that you need for your documents that are required to enter into Spain. Unfortunately, last night with those updates, it didn't have all of the information that we needed. When I got over there, I looked at what was required to get from the US, which was gonna be the same as Canada, the UK, Australia, and any of those other third party countries. It said, Spain welcomes travelers from the USA. We want to make your trip to Spain comfortable, easy, and safe. Please note that passengers arriving in Spain by air or sea from this country will not be required to present the SPTH health control form or a COVID-19 certificate. Now we started to get into that documentation, but again, it's not 100% clear. And as I said, the BOE update was talking all about the changes that they made, but it made no reference to that documentation. So my thought that they were still gonna require those documents, despite the fact that they were taking away the SPTH health form, they were still gonna require one of those three documents to enter. Just how they were gonna check, I still didn't know. But because there was still a lot of confusion, not everything was updated, I decided to wait until this morning to be able to get in touch with the health ministry directly and take a look to see if they were gonna update any of those pages. 
Fortunately, they have, and I think they've cleared everything up a bit. And those updates allowed us to bring some light on the big question that we had, as whether or not those third countries still required those three different certificates to get in and how they would be patrolled. Now, when we go back over to the sanitation website, you can see that they have the idea of the accepted certificates in the context of international travel. They have the information provided for the EU digital certificate or its equivalent, which hasn't changed since the previous publications. Anybody with those didn't have to fill out the FCS form, that SPTH form, and they still don't have to. But now, if you don't have one of those forms, the other certificates that are accepted are outlined over here. Passengers from third countries who meet the requirements to enter Spain, see section entry requirements for entry in Spain for third countries, which is still something that we need to take a look at, may travel by presenting any of the following certificates as long as they meet the same conditions as the EU digital certificate. So you can see that the vaccination certificate, a negative diagnostic test, or a recovery certificate are all things that are going to be required to get into Spain. So Americans with that CDC card, that should be more than enough. But the big change and the big update was over on the Travel Safe website, which like I said before, is my favorite website throughout this entire pandemic. What you can see is that they have a lot more information now in terms of what you need. Changing this to travelers coming from the USA to Spain must meet one of the following health requirements provided that you're 12 years or older. Vaccination, recovery, or diagnostic certificate. Please note that you may present an EU COVID certificate or a certification of vaccination, recovery, or diagnostic issued in any country outside of the European Union, such as the United States, as long as these certificates meet certain requirements. They have the list here for all of the requirements that you need which I listed in my last video. So if you don't remember what those are, play those right now. The first is a vaccination certificate that's accepted by the EU that's between 14 and 270 days old. After 270 days, a booster shot will be required. The booster shot does not expire and is valid the day of. The second is a negative test and both antigen and PCR tests are accepted. If you do get an antigen test, it will need to be within 24 hours of departure. A PCR test is within 72 hours of departure. And if you're already considered fully vaccinated, you do not need an antigen test or a PCR test on top of that. The last is a recovery certificate, valid 11 days after the first positive test and up to 180 days. And then a big piece of information that's added right here at the bottom are that certificates must be written in Spanish, English, French, or German. If it is not possible to obtain it in these languages, the document must be accompanied by a translation into Spanish made by an official body. So you can see a little bit more information right here. Again, with TravelSafe, you can click on the country that you're coming from and find out exactly what you need. But like I said, it's one of those three health certificates and it needs to be in one of those languages you see there. Now, while all of this information is accessible to you and that's why I leave it here, as you know, I always wanna make sure that you have the primary sources to be able to find out all the information that you need in order to get over to Spain and really enjoy your trips. The one thing that really tipped the scale that made sure that we understood exactly what was going on was the private message, the private email that I sent over to the health organization here in Spain. And they got back to me pretty quickly this morning, giving me all the information that we need to be able to get into Spain. I'm not sharing their email for confidentiality purposes. However, I will leave a link below to the fully updated resolution with the newest updates included, where it still allows for travelers entering from outside the EU to be given a temperature check, document control, or visual control. So while the FCS form, while that SPTH form is no longer required and you will no longer need a QR code if you're coming over to travel to Spain, those that are coming from third countries are still going to need to be able to show one of those three health documents vaccination, negative test, or a recovery certificate. Those are still going to be required to enter, but you will not have to fill out that FCS form before coming. Remember that regardless of where you're coming, travelers under the age of 12 and anybody in international transit don't need to show any documentation either. So just to recap everything that's happened with the newest update to the BOE, the FCS form, that SPTH form that you use to generate the QR code is no longer required if you're coming from one of those third countries, but that's the only thing that's changed you still will be required to show proof of your vaccination, negative test, or even the recovery certificate to enter. As you know, I'm always trying to keep you updated on exactly what is going on to get into Spain so you can get over here and have a great time, feel more comfortable, be better prepared for that next trip. So if you haven't already, remember to like the video, give it that subscribe, and then you'll know when all of these new updates are coming out.